So basically what we have right now is we've got a lot of, we've got a pretty good current moving by us at the moment. And with a pencil, a lot of guys like to throw way up tide and be able to work the plug toward them the whole way. I tend to more cast toward like the one to two o'clock position. Um, then by the time I'm tight to the plug, it's almost directly in front of me. And my, the basic way that I do it is I like to keep the plug moving slowly. Part of this has to do with the fact that I'm throwing a bigger plug. And I just think it's more enticing to a bigger fish that might be interested in the bigger plug. Um, but also, when I'm working the plug slowly, if something comes up behind it and doesn't take it, or if I get a couple of swings and misses, I can speed the plug up, which is a natural response. You know, when you see bait fish on the surface getting chased, they're not moving slowly, they're moving fast. But if you start fast, then you can't really go too much faster before you're just going to rip it out of there, you know, faster than they can take it. So my, the whole thing, the whole premise of what I do is just to keep the plug working slowly until I see a response. Um, of course, I will experiment from cast to cast sometimes, especially when it's slow, maybe fish it extra slow, or I might even throw in one of those crazy casts where you're working the plug a million miles an hour. But generally speaking, and what I found works best, especially on bigger fish, is just to work the plug slowly and then show them a natural reaction when, uh, when a fish comes up and shows interest in the plug. Some people like to get, like to work the plug really fast, and that does work well in certain situations on the beach. But in the canal, you already have the current kind of aiding the plug in its, in its action. So it's not necessary to, to be up here going like this. All you really need to do is just keep a easy cadence and just let the plug work against the current. It's gonna just be going like this the whole time out there. And it really looks natural, especially if you spend some time down here and you see you know, what a mackerel looks like when it's fighting against the current. Um, and even when they're being pursued, you can, you can really kind of up your game by uh, learning to replicate both of those sort of modes of their time in the canal. As far as color goes for me, I keep it really simple. Um, I would say, I don't even know, 70% of the time I'm throwing white. And that would be May to November. I just have a lot of confidence in white. I feel like there's a lot of white in almost every bait fish. Um, here in the canal, I'll throw the mackerel colors um, fairly often, especially on days when it's clearer. Um, another color that I like a lot is black over silver, and I tend to like that when it's cloudy. Um, I can't even say why, it's just something that's popped up for me over the years. It just keeps showing that it, that's, those are the colors that I like and those are the colors that I'm successful on. The other color that I use a lot is just chartreuse over, like the bright green over chartreuse or parrot. Um, but that's it. You know, I, I don't really deviate from that too often. <laughs>